What up everybody, a DMCT guy. So, this video is kind of in response to the last video. A, co a commenter said, or a subscriber commented and said that the reason why my homemade dragon's breath didn't go too well is because I didn't take the shot cup out and put the uh, steel wool directly on the gunpowder. And they're right, I didn't do that. And I was thinking about it, I'm like, why not? So I'm gonna. I did that. I loaded up some some new ammo, and also got a little surprise for you too. So let's see. Okay. So I did four, and I basically just <laughs> I basically took the wad of steel wool, put it on top of the gunpowder, and I took the shot cup and put it upside down, and I sealed it off. And I sealed it off a couple different ways. So we're gonna do those. We got four of those. Those should be a lot better because they're sitting right on we're the gun. Try them out. So today I got the uh, Remington 870 again. The good old Remington 870. Let's see if these cycle first. Okay, they're good. All right. So. For this, again, we're going to do eyes. It's a little darker here, so bear with me on this, guys. Bear with me. All right? So here we go. Okay. I'm going to shoot it toward the water and see what we got. All right, ready? That sucked. Okay. Uh, let's do it again, away from my face. Okay, not enough back pressure as you're seeing there, first hand, but you, we are getting some ignition of the steel wool, which is pretty neat. All right, this one might be a little bit better. Let's give this one a try. Again, away from my face. Ha <laughs> ha, that's pretty cool. Look at that, staying lit. <laughs> that one was neat. Okay, a little worried about starting a fire. All right, I got last one, last red homemade with steel wool. All right, that one's gonna have to be loaded by itself because, yeah, it's not fitting. It might not even fit at all. Let's see. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. I don't know. Having some trouble here. All right, there we go. I got it. Okay, there we go. Oh, safety off. <laughs> nice. Okay. So that seemed to work out pretty good. Not. <laughs> so there's not enough back pressure, I would say. Um, with something like that, and not enough. Th so this goes to show you that the best thing to do is just buy the Dragon's Breath online, like most people do, and do it like that. Uh, homemade shotgun shells and personal defense shells. I gotta say, unless you have the proper tools to make the shells, it's probably not the best thing to do. Uh, you could always make like those salt rounds uh, with some rock salt. That's pretty cool. But you know, anything you put into a shell and you shoot down your barrel could in fact destroy your barrel. So you got to keep that in mind. Uh, I could get another barrel from my Remington 870, so I'm not too worried about this one. Uh, so that's why I like doing the experiments on it. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. This is a short, quick video in response to the last video. I got another cool video coming up, so stay tuned. I actually have a really cool video coming up and I'm waiting for some stuff to come in and it has to do with more shotgun shells that I'm going to load up. So we'll see. Stay tuned. This is going to be cool. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. The MCT Guy signing off.
and that's what it looks like when it's lit nice and bright pretty neat huh and that is magnesium flake and that's the essence of uh, dragon's breath Let's see what happens when you kick it <laughs> pretty neat huh but that's what goes into the dragon's breath shotgun shells